Hello, this is Deirdre from DeirdreMcGuire.com and this is just a very quick video. I've been prompted to make it because I want to help a friend. Now, let me tell you first of all what her problem is. Her problem is that her partner is now her ex-partner and she won't, uh, the partner won't let her see the children. So uh, she is becoming more and more depressed because she can't get access to her children. And so it just gets worse and worse. So she sits and tells me about everything that the partner's done and um, all the bad things he's done and how can he do this to her and when she goes to court and da da da, da and it goes on and on and on. So here's what the real issue is. The real issue is that she is using her past to manage her present. So what did I mean by that? Well, I actually was listening to a radio presenter the other day on our local radio station. And he and a caller were toing and froing about the history of Ireland, our Northern Ireland Troubles history. And one of the things that he said that really struck me was he said, actually, our present is our past. Our present is our past. And I thought at the time how difficult your life would be if you continuously operated from that belief system. If you believed that your present is your past, then nothing would ever change. And that's kind of what's happening with my friend. She is believing that her partner is hurting her, is bad, is, you know, all these bad things. So she, every time she deals with the partner, she's operating from that belief system. So they just keep clashing. They just keep banging up against the hurt, the pain, the sadness. So something has to change. They're both, they're both operating from that belief system. The present is the past. So what if something could change? What if my friend could actually start believing something different? Instead of looking at that person, the ex-partner with the hurt, the anger, what if she started thinking good thoughts about that person? What if she started coming from a place of love? Maybe not love, okay, maybe that's too much, but even a place of peace. So if you started operating from a, peace, a place of peace, then your interaction with that person has got to be different. It absolutely has got to be. Now this sounds, you know, counterintuitive, but I can tell you this for a fact. I've tried this. I have had people who have challenged me hugely in my life. And with this information, I decided to come from a place of peace. I imagined this person in a being a loving person, a kind person, even though I felt very hurt by that person. And honestly, it started to change. Now, I know it sounds weird, but it did. It started to change. So this is for you, my friend. I know it's not easy. It is simple, but not easy. OK, I know what I've been there. But if you could start to think and act from a different place in your mind and and let go of the hurt, let go of the past and start operating in a different way in your present and imagining that person letting you see the children for five minutes or 10 minutes. Now, it's not easy and it takes time, but I promise you this, I have evidence myself and I've also had evidence from clients that I've told this to you. I said, try it, just give it a go. Actually, you have nothing to lose, you know, because it's not working the way it is. So you might as well try something different and, and watch how it changes. Come back to me and let me know because I know it will change. Now, it may not change in a minute. It may take time, but it will. You know, I, I, a client recently that I was working with and he said to me, I can't believe it. He said this wife and they, it was so acrimonious. And he said, I started doing this. And he said, actually, what I did was just throw a bag of love at her in his mind. He threw a bag of love at her because who are you really making peace with? You're making peace with you inside you. You're placing the value inside you. Now, I know you can have justified anger. I know they did this and did that and did the other and took your money and had the affair and 
took your children away and did all that. But that you can't change. That is the past and it cannot be changed. So the only thing you can change is the present, the future and your response to it. Okay, Viktor Frankl, Man's Search for Meaning, he said, between the stimulus and the response, there is a gap. Herein lies our freedom. And he was in Auschwitz. Can't get much worse than that. But when he realised that and he noticed that the people who were thinking of a better future, the people who forgave the Germans, that they survived, they made it through. Okay? And the others who didn't, didn't. So this is what I invite you to do. If you have a really difficult situation, I am not minimizing the diff difficulty of a situation. Look, I know, I've been through cancer. I know what difficult situations are like, okay? But if you choose, take control, okay, to think differently, your past is not your present. The past is over. It's gone. It's not here now. Your present is all you have. Take control. Take a deep breath in. Become aware. Think a different thought. Send peace to that person. Get bigger than your mind. Hang in there. And even though they will, you know, you'll bang up again. Just make it different. Make it different. Make it different inside you. I promise you this. They will start to change. Your life, the quality of your life, will start to improve. It's, it's, it's a fact. It happens. I know you're going to be contacting me and saying, you know something, dearie, I know that's weird, but it happened to me. And if this has already happened to you, write it up underneath in the comments below and help someone else. Because that's what my life is about, helping you, helping others. And we're all in it together and we can all help each other. And it will pull you out of depression. You are doing it to you. I know it's hard, but yes, you are. You're doing it to you. And to that radio presenter, I send love. Our past is not our present. Our present is our present. Our present is a gift. That's why they call it the present. Get it? This is what I wish for the people in my country more than anything. Because if our present could be our present, we definitely would create a better future for ourselves and for our children. Anyway, I'm going to keep doing that because I'm so passionate about this work. I hope whatever you're doing today, you're having a really good one. Because it's always, always up to you inside. Okay? I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.